As I walked down by the riverside One evening in the spring Heard a long gone song from days gone by Blowing in on the great north wind Though there was no lonesome for great cry A sorrow and delight you can hear I am happy to see you so happy to see you. Yeah. But I've got a terrible taste. May the ghost of keep you from your sleep. May they all sleep tight down in hell tonight. Or wherever they Who's good to you? When I tell you about sleeping with a ginger lady. God for Kevin, dirty bastard. Any news? Usual bollocks. That's my idea. What day? What do you mean, what day? I got no Tuesdays. What, every Tuesday? I told you not to buy this one, Aidan. And what would you know? Hey, Cotty. Don't you be home here, boss, for the rest of the day if you don't get over here. Yes, my name's Jim, and I... There's not much to say. Aidan, 1986, 74,000 miles, good body work. So what do we need a bottle for? No, we're too late. No tanks, no reserve. Miles got the right. Next rental van, high mileage. Must be sold. That's not bad. No, there's a better one than this. Two, 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 two
Well, this is a determined run from the midfielder. He's within striking distance. Not a lot of room to manoeuvre. That's a tremendous strike on the turn. Oh, and that wasn't far away. Great right effort. Right. They push forward again, trying to make the most Success. of the first half fresh. Yeah, Here's good. Morgan. He'll look to find support. What's the score? That's no score. So the the box. Thanks, there. You finishing them chips? Yeah, the opponents have already shown just how dangerous they can be on the counter attack. What do you get? Transit. Good move. There's an ambitious long ball. Schmidt launches himself towards that loose ball. Then he goes again. It's the third time he's done that in the past ten minutes. Can you look at the state of him. Come on. Give him an Oscar. What time is it? Half oh, five. Jesus. I've no clean shirt. Whose turn was it for the long drive? There's a blue one in there. It's mine. Take it. It'll go with your eyes. Jesus, how did he miss that? How much did they pay for that fat bastard? You mind yourself now? Oh, my name is Joe Stewart. I'm a canny gunman and a roving young fella I've been. So easy and free when you drink and when me I'm a man you don't meet every day. I have acres of land. Charlotte, are you Charlotte? <laughs> yes. I'm Jim. Sorry, I'm a bit late. That's fine. Hi. Pleased to meet you. Would you like a coffee or a drink? No, I'll get it. Uh, what would you like? Um, I have a glass of red wine. Thanks. I think you have to go up and. And him I did shoot up down in the county Kildare. So be easy and free when you drink and when me I'm a man you don't meet every day. So. I didn't know about this place. Too no, no. Good. So, what do you do, Jim? Uh, I'm a mechanic. Cars, you know. What about yourself? Are you working? I work for a bank. Is that right? I knew another girl once was a teller. I'm a risk analyst with a merchant bank. Uh, sorry, I'm not. <laughs> That's all right. I just save money for companies who already have far too much. Can I ask you a question? No. <laughs> Why the ad? You're so nice looking. Well, shouldn't that be beautiful or? <laughs> You've got good looks. Why did you reply? Do you do this sort of thing a lot? Or? No, I, I wanted to. I thought about it. Why did you reply this time? Was it the wording? <laughs> the wording was great. <laughs> <laughs> no, um... The room, I mean. Oh, 
upstairs there's a girl. And every night this girl is having sex. <laughs> Fact day and night. And I'm lying there listening to it. It's like knowing there's something on offer and you're the only one can't get to it. We go for a walk. So, what's all this about? I hardly know myself, really. I've only ever met one other man through the ad. It wasn't a great hit. He was, I think, he was a train spotter or something. Would you like to go somewhere? We could get an Indian or...? No, I, I think I've made a mistake, actually. No. I'm sorry. It's not a problem. I understand. It's beautiful, isn't it? Very nice. The light on the water. Aye, if this was at home, it would be the place to come for a lumber, all right. A lumber. A lumber? A kiss. <laughs> well, thanks for coming. Pleasure. Oh, I'm sorry. Very nice to meet you, Charlotte. And good luck with uh, whatever. Whoever. You've got my number. As I walk down by the riverside one evening in the spring, heard a long gone song from days gone by, blowing in on the great north wind. Though there was no lonesome current great cry, a sorrow and delight, you can hear the cars and the shouts. Never keep you from your sleep. May they all sleep tight down in hell tonight, or wherever they may be. Darling, how's Elspeth? Ah, oh, bed. Bed, I love my bed. Nothing like it. Come here. You're cold. I missed you. Me too. I'm going to get you in the morning. Get your hole. You're dirty beast. I hope you took precautions. Plenty of them. Did he get his hole? 
Of course he did. If you look at this smug grin on him. There's no grin on this face. That's because only a miserable fucker like you could get his hole and still have a face on him that would weather tea. Are there any socks in this gaff or what? Hey, Aidan, listen to this. Many people believe that we would not want to release Northern Ireland for the United Kingdom, the Northern Ireland Secretary said. To be entirely honest, we would, with pleasure, wait. Then he says, no, not with pleasure, I take that back. How can he take it back? Did he say it or did he not say it? Come on, we'll work the day. You're not going to start bringing her back here. I don't think she'd appreciate the charm of the place. Listen, just be careful with me, girl, okay? You know me. All under control. Crack dealers, a bunch of parasites. Not to lock them up and throw away the key. Your man's all hard. See you later. Is this game about appearances or what? Oh my amazing, what is this? What have we here? How much? 1600? What? <laughs> Can that be serious, man? Do I know a bargain when I see one or what? That's dreadful. <laughs> here, letter for you from the missus. Not reading it. I'm oh, saving it for bed. Never know what might be in it. Is that him for me? Who'd write to you? Aiden? Could I get away for a few days? When? The end of next week. Just think they're going to see Mama. I don't see why not. Will you take the ferry? Aye. I know that look. It's the Charlotte Norton checkbook look. It's not working. Must not work. I thought you liked it. I do. I think his stuff's wonderful. It's just a bit dreary in this room. And? I saw something in the flowers gallery. I thought so. Get it. I think I will. What have you got on this week? Nothing, nothing special. Ah, oh, poor thing. I'll see you.
come on in. Why'd you change your mind? It's my brother's. He always wanted to live in one room. He travels a lot. It's nice to see you again. He works for six months. He doesn't care what he does, and then he's off. Do you want a drink? Fine. Have you travelled much? Me? Yeah. All over. Glasgow, Hull. You're laying it on a bit, aren't you? Rumbled. Yeah, I've uh, been to the Isle of Man. You're really quite cosmopolitan. <laughs> That's me. Do you want one? Uh, no. Thanks. I shouldn't. <laughs> uh, smoke much, do you? <sighs> Only when I'm terrified. <laughs> It's nice to see you again. Have you eaten? No. Sit down, I'll get something. Oh, my name is Jock Stewart. I'm a canny gunman and a roving young fella I've been. So easy and free when you drink a Fill up your glasses of brandy and wine Whatever it costs, I will pay So be easy and free when you drink And when me, I'm a man you don't meet every day September has come, it is hers September has come. It's hers. Go on, John. Whose vitality leaps in the autumn. Whose nature prefers trees without leaves. And the fire in the fireplace. What about your woman, then? <laughs> nice woman. What did she put the ad in for? Is she a dog? Shut up. She's good looking, in fact. Well, so what did she put them in for, then? She's married. The joke, man. Well, but what about the husband, then? Is there a wee problem there, is there? I don't know. Didn't ask. Come on, give us a skill. Will you pack it in, Bernie? Hmm. Excuse me. Take it away. Aye, take it away. Is it anything kinky? Right, all right, all right, all right, all right. No, no getting away. Come here, darling. Do you want me? Yes. 
Yes, we've established that, I think. Oh, tough. <laughs> Come here, darling. Darling. <laughs> Her accent's not strong, though. Sometimes you tone it down a bit. What? What about your husband? Just so we get this out of the way. We've been married 16 years. We have a very good life. I get a lot out of it. I'm not putting it or him down. But it's like... It's like my brother and sister. It's too early for that. Have you thought about leaving him ever? Yes. Robert. That's me. You've forgotten. No. What? Dinner. David and Hillary. We're running late. No. I called your office. They said you'd taken the afternoon off. Yes, I just wanted... The office is driving me mad. Where did you go? God, I, I can't even remember. What's the matter, darling? Nothing. What's the matter? Nothing. I just had a terrible day. I can't face dinner. I've been looking forward to this. Well, you go by yourself. I'm not stopping you. Fine. I'll call David. All right then, Michael. I'll be back Monday week. Don't forget the suit. Game of Thrones. Are you serious? Brilliant. Say hello to your ma for me. Whoever she is. Are you headed? You want to see a man with a dog? You want to come? I'll go for it, darling. See you then. Swan. Nah, there's nothing wrong with it. Keep me, it's a lock. Hey! Hey! Jack! Come here! Come here! Come here! Oh. Nobody tell you not to be rubbing your own! People have done from nothing anyway! Hey, what's this? This scummy wee fucker drug addict's just tried to rob us and Jim's giving him a political lecture. Ah, Jim, just beat the shit out of him. What about moving gas? This place is getting desperate. I'll check out Belgravia. That'll do nicely and I want a bathroom on sweet or I'm not coming. God, what I wouldn't give her to spend the afternoon hunting and having a wee gargle made. He didn't have your balance. Sure, he might as well. Nobody else is.
remember going in the Magdalene's Bakery, you know, the day before I came over here last. I says to the wee woman, give us a dozen potato bread, a dozen soda files, and two dozen wheat and baps, missus. She says, ah, God love you, son. You must be going to England. <laughs> You're both from the north. The Black North. What are they squabbling over up there? Behaving like two lots of savages. I couldn't care less which of them does what to the other. Both sides are as bad, bad as, as each, each other. other. Hooligans. Going around bombing things. Just for the hell of it. I know, desperate. It's self-contained. Two bedrooms. There we are. You choose the orange yourself, did you? I did. We can't move in until Michael gets back. Can we move in on the weekend? You can move in in the year 2010 as long as you pay for it. If you want the flat, you'll have to pay now. It's a month in advance and a month's deposit. Ah, okay. I'll get your rent books. Great. Right. Just leave these here for a night. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah, it'll do fine. Say something nice to me. You can't think of anything. Charlotte. I think of lots of things. Say them then. I can't. I think we should go out next time. Because if we don't, you know, it's not going to work out. Do you want it to work out? In an ideal world, yeah. Well, you say the lines while the play lasts.
Jamie. I'm so sorry I'm late, Robert. Traffic's dreadful today, dreadful. Where's Charlotte? She'll be down in a minute. I'm here, I'm here. Let me take your coat. There you are, stranger. <laughs> Where have you been hiding? I've been trying to reach you at the office all week. Oh, meetings, I expect. Oh, no one seems to know where you are. Drink. Oh, lovely. <laughs> You're looking terribly well, darling. Mmm. That's lovely. That's really lovely. Olivier's aren't out yet. I was down there last week and... Oh, here they are. Oh. oh. I, I didn't know that you... I thought I'd told you. Really? Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, hello. <laughs> hi. 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 Oh, marvellous. You look wonderful, doesn't she, Lottie? Doesn't she look wonderful? Disgustingly fat. No, you don't. You look great, Caroline. I've been very lucky, though. It hasn't been all that bad. A bit pukey at the beginning. Actually, I can highly recommend it. Caroline, why don't you... Oh, thanks. I forgot the olives. <laughs> it's marvellous. <Yes. laughs> so exciting. Yeah. So exciting. Oh, now tell me, well, are you going to have any hospital? Well, I was hoping... <laughs> well, you well, like, know, I, I didn't want to. We all used to it with these six days, wasn't it? Yeah. We used to have it. I hope you're having some of these these little tidbits. Yes. Yeah. Do you want one of these? <laughs> <laughs> How's your sister? Julia. Left Chris and ran off with Peter. Oh. I don't think I know Peter. Chris was such a boring man. He was very good looking. Mmm, darling, this is delicious. Come on, Robert, you're fading away. Mm, really good, Charlotte. It's all Robert's doing, he's an amazing cook. He is. You let Lottie get away with far too much. Not at all. She has a good points. <laughs> Shall we go in and start? Mm. Everything all right? Charlotte's been working terrifically hard. It's a very high-powered job, you know. Holiday. That's what the two of you need. I always think the Italian lakes are lovely at this time of the year. Charlotte's father and I went to Garda. The year before she was born. That went well. Very well, I thought. Your mother was on good form. Well, you know she adores you, you old flirt.
Scheit. <coughs> you all right? Timing's fucked. Gasket's gone and there's a hole in the silence. Oh, right. So we know it's not too late for you then, eh? I got blew out. Poor fucker. Well, boys, how's the work in classes? You cocky little shit. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Here, come here, one. Oh, Bernie. <laughs> right, Savile Row, you is ready. When I first came to London, I was only 16. With a fiver in my pocket and my old dancing bag. I went down to the dilly to check out the scene. But I soon ended up upon the old main drag. There the he males and the she males paraded in style. And the old man with the money would flash you a smile. I think we'll look nice. Of an alley, mm. it would work for a five. For a slip one, not the rest, down on the old main drag. In the cold winds and nights, the old town is was chill. There were boys in the cafes who'd give you chick pills. If you didn't have the money, you could jowl and you'd beg. There was always lots of chewing all on the old main drag. Hello, it's me. Don't hang up, please. How are you? Me? Yeah, fine. No problem. I thought maybe we could meet just for a drink after work. Just look at it this way, will you? She got what she wanted from you, you got what you wanted from her, everybody's evens. She you know bloody well it couldn't have worked out anyway. That's great, thanks, Bernie. You know, when I first come to London, I was 17. And I met this wee girl. Brilliant weekend. She was going to college. And you couldn't have sawed us apart. We well, got our own squat. Lifted furniture out of the skips. I fixed the meter so I, so I had the electric on all day, you know. It was lovely and warm the whole winter. What happened? I'm not crying into my beer or anything, you know, but uh, when I let her go, I just sort of miss something, you know, an opportunity. Just something to do with the way the whole rest of your life goes, you know? I know what you mean. Shit. You're telling me. If you'd seen the tits on her,
Looks great. Don't you think? Friday night, great stuff, huh? Eh? Remember you're working tomorrow? Uh, I could have forget. I'll see you back at the gaff. As I walk down by the riverside one evening in the spring, heard a long gun song from days gone by, blowing in on the great north wind. Though there was no lonesome, poor Greg's cry. A sorrow and delight You can hear the cars and the shouts from the bars And the laughter and the fights Where the ghosts are howling Charlotte! Never keep you from your sleep May they all sleep tight down in hell tonight I wanted to see you <laughs> Just the office crowd, Helen, Stephen, you know. I expect we'll make an evening of it. Yes. Um, yes, you too. Well, I'll see you later then. Lots of love. Bye.
have to go. No, not allowed. Oh, Jim, don't make this harder for me. Of course, I'm going to make it harder for you. Look, we've had a great evening. Don't spoil it. It was a great surprise to see you, and it was really nice of you to bring me here. I love the way everybody's so friendly. Friendly? Well, you know what I mean. It's a nice atmosphere. Oh, yeah, very warm. What is this? Like it, did you? The atmosphere. Nice. Is that what you said? You brought me here. Yeah, I thought you'd be able to handle all this. The Irish, the party whacker and the diddly day. There's more to us, you know. I know that. No, you don't. How do you know what I know? You don't. I could guess. If you knew, we wouldn't be having this conversation. I have to go. Tell me what you know about us. Go ahead, tell me. Jim, why are you being like this? Why am I being like this? I'm trying to get through to you, Sean. I'm trying to say hello. Hello. I'm trying to get you, Sean, who I love, to fucking be together with me so we can be together. Jim, you know how things are. We can't. Not now. Not now? Bollocks to nothing, now your heart was Please don't make it difficult. What? Yes, of course I'm all right. I need a cab. No, you don't. Stay with me. Don't go. Look, I didn't want to come here in the first place. If we'd gone to the flat earlier, you'd have got what you wanted. Got what I wanted? What do you mean, got what I wanted? It wasn't me put the art in. God, you're right. I don't know you. Who are you? Charlotte, sorry. I'm sorry for what I said. It was not getting to see you. Wanting you, thinking about you. I don't want to let you go. I like the look of you, Charlotte. Your voice, your eyes, I like your smell. Like you, Charlotte, like you. <sighs> Watching you. Watching you in there with that wee girl. You looked up at me and smiled and I knew, I knew there's something you have for me. <sighs> Is it? Nearly five. I must get home. I could drive you. No, I'll take a cab. Can I phone from here?
just when I was going to make my speech. I'll have to keep it for another time. Yeah, next time. I could call you at work. Charlotte. Yes? You don't work Saturdays, do you? No, why? You don't have to go into work today. You can go to bed and... Well, at least you're safe. On or off, what do you think? Just the two, leave the others. We are going to be okay here. Yeah. Of course we are. Come back here afterwards. Right, let's go. Pictures of the bombing. 
It's near your office. The attack has left two people dead, believed to be an 11-year-old girl and her mother. Police have not yet released their names. Early estimates say the damage could be as high as one billion pounds. The damage to the city, as Europe's foremost money market, could be even greater. What a mess. A bloody mess. Police say that security cameras recorded two men at the scene whom they want to interview. They're seen here walking away from the van, a white transit van. What the fuck do they want? C-40 STJ, which blew up minutes later. It had been packed with more than a ton of homemade explosives. The police have issued these image-enhanced pictures of the two men they want to interview. Anyone who may have seen the van or the two men is asked to contact the police. Thank you very much for your help. Yep, thank you. Home. As I walk down with a heavy heart and stunned and stunned the tide and the sun went down though the lights were gone and the north wind gently sighed and an evening breeze coming from the east that kissed our river side so I pray now child that you sleep tonight when you hear this lullaby Flowers from heart and grace Let her bring you misery May the angels bright watch you tonight And keep you 